In this question, we're asked to solve the quadratic inequality 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 is more than 0. So the first thing that we can do is to factorise this equation. And so for the time being, we'll say that 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 rather than greater than 0. And so when we factorise this, we'll get 2x minus 1, x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now we can solve to find the values of x. So 2x minus 1 equals 0. We'll say that 2x is equal to 1. So x is equal to a half. And then we have x plus 2 equals 0. And so bringing the 2 to the other side, we'll say that x is equal to minus 2. And so these are our two solutions. But that's for the equation 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. But we need to solve the equation 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 is more than 0. And when we have a quadratic inequality, it's always useful to draw a diagram. And so we'll draw a quick sketch of 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we have x is equal to a half, and we have x is equal to minus 2. The sketch doesn't need to be accurate. It will just show us how the diagram should look. 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 is more than 0. And so let's highlight the part of the graph that satisfies this. So we can now see that the highlighted parts represents any points where 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 is more than 0. And so we can see that to satisfy this equation, we need to have any point greater than a half and any point less than minus 2. Now since the points where 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 is greater than 0 is anything where x is less than minus 2 and x is greater than a half, we can solve this inequality by saying x is less than minus 2 and x is greater than a half. Now this question is worth three marks, so let's take a look at where these marks are allocated. The first mark is for factorising 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 and for getting 2x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 2. Now the second mark is for finding the two solutions as minus 2 and a half. Now the third and final mark is for saying that x is less than minus 2 and x is more than a half. And so we were only able to do this by drawing a quick sketch of the diagram to see exactly what we're talking about when we say that 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 is more than 0. And so guessing the final answer of x is less than minus 2 and x is greater than a half will give us that third and final mark needed to get full marks in this question.